Welcome to a brief history of the atom. We're going to focus on these three gentlemen, and uh, you can see right there from their names what they've done and basically what their uh, time frame was. John Dalton is the guy that first gave us the atomic theory stuff. Uh, Thompson was in charge of the electron, and Rutherford gave us the idea of the nucleus, although we oftentimes think about it as the proton. All right, so let's kind of blaze through this. This is going to be fast, so what I would do is I would pause right now, write all these points about Don, uh, Dalton, and then just kind of review. I'm going to go pretty quickly. Uh, first of all, Dal well, Dalton gave us the idea that all matter is composed of extremely small particles called atoms, and this is really uh, the law of conservation of, uh, of mass. All right, And then uh, he said these two tenets right here, that atoms, uh, all atoms are exactly the same, and they are identical in their chemical properties, and they are different in their chemical properties. It seems kind of maybe redundant, but it's, it's kind of important. Um, he says uh, when, he said that when they combine, they're going to combine in simple whole number ratios, which is kind of why when you think about water, H2O, you know, we've got two, watt, two hydrogens and one oxygen. And then the last thing is he said you, you can combine them, you can uh, rearrange them, but you can't create them to destroy. And this is, again, um, part of the law of conservation of mass. Okay? The next guy was Thompson. And again, what I would do is just pause this real quickly, uh, write all those points down, but because I'm, I'm going to go pretty fast. But uh, Thompson's experiments gave us the idea of uh, the electron. Now what Thompson used was this thing down here called the cathode ray tube and what he did with that is he shot some particles through it you know you can see right here one there was an electrode here and then here was a plate here and then a beam would go through and there's a lot of things here you can see that are important it didn't matter what was happening um, he got the same exact results didn't matter the metal didn't matter um, what kind of gas he put inside uh, but a couple of those things were really important. One, uh, a paddle wheel could actually uh, be moved, so that told him that these particles had mass. Um, he didn't matter, uh, again, of, of any of the materials. Since it came from the, ele the negative side, it must have been negative particles. Also, if you moved a, a negative thing near the beam, it moved it away. Now, when Thompson was all done, our di idea of the atom looked like this. They called it the plum pudding model. You can think of it as more of a blueberry muffin model where you just had this positiveness with some electrons uh, stuck in there. Okay? And then the last one was uh, Ernest Rutherford. Now, Rutherford, used, his famous experiment is this gold foil experiment. I mean, that's, that experiment is really associated with his name. The guy did a lot more, of course, but that's really what's going on. And what happened is they shot some, some positive particles uh, through this beam. Now, they thought most of, the, most of the particles would go here, which they did, but a few bounced back, and that's what was really shocking. And so Rutherford deduced from that that there must be some positive thing that was at the center of the atom, and that was what was causing these alpha particles to bounce right back. And so basically from that, we had the idea that we have a nucleus. Now, we also deduced that there were protons, but uh, they didn't discover the neutrons in the, nu in the nucleus until quite a few years later. So after Rutherford, then we had this model. I like to call this the Jimmy Neutron model. And that's where you have this positive nucleus in the center surrounded by electrons. Right? I know this was really quick. Hopefully you just paused and uh, wrote the notes down because we're going to refer to this during the, this chapter and I want you to have a little bit of the history behind it. So there you go. If you have any questions, like always, just ask me in class. See you later.